This is the November 17, 2015 meeting of the East Longmeadow Board of Assessors. Um, LCAT is recording the meeting and we are, we are making a recording for our minutes and there's no one else recording the meeting. The first item is to review the open and executive session minutes from the meeting of November 3rd, 2015. Um, I read the minutes for uh, both open and executive and they are all fine. And I make a motion to accept those minutes. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So now the next thing we have is an LA3 sales report, which is the sales for the month of October. What's on, this is, a, this is also filed with the state, and it is um, subject to changes. We find out more about as we, as we get information in on the, the details of some of the sales situations. On the, um, on the second sale, mm -hmm. I believe that may be a, um, through the estate of the person that owned it and passed on, and, okay. and it's staying within the family. Okay, make a note of that. And the 83, which I thought was really high sale, I assume, and if Diane looked oh, at that. Oh, that's the same, that's the same party as the second sale. That's also an estate sale. Okay. Are they related sales? Uh, no. The people that purchased uh, the one that Marty's mentioned, mm -hmm. it, individuals, but I don't believe it was on the open market. Oh, no, it was. It was? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh. what I'm saying, yeah. Definitely was on the open market. I don't know if Diane looked at that. I thought I, I looked at it. It was a very large property, but I don't remember it saying it was totally renovated now. Um, it, I, it is a nice home, that I know. But it, it's, it's a large ranch, that I know, but... Um, There's some additions. No, that's a real, uh, it's a real sale. It was on MLS. Mm -hmm. I do review the MLS before after Kathy yeah. inputs everything just to verify and yeah I'm not I'm not questioning mm -hmm. that they might need adjustments but mm -hmm. that we'll do that when we do our interim next year right but again you're gonna see a lot of low I'm amazed at how yeah. that how high that a lot of the sales are coming in right now yeah and we already talked about um, the need to change the yeah. situation where the point seven three is. Yes, yes. It seems that every month yeah, I we're think getting that we realize that that older housing stock very that, popular now. Yeah. That there's changes mm -hmm. that we need yep. to yes. make. The sales are telling us that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we when we do the, the values for next when you do the values next year we have to take we'll be taking account of the sales this year. Yeah, and, and, and we're seeing some we're seeing some high sales. Yes. And East Sun Meadow, as you know, is a crazy about their new homes. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I have. Okay, we have a notice of a December first uh, meeting at six thirty p.m. of the for the fiscal year uh, seventeen budget kickoff meeting, uh, the budget yeah. calendar. That'll be a Tuesday. Uh, December 1st, Tuesday evening um, at 6.30, I will be in attendance um, at that meeting. If a board member would like to be there, please feel free to join me at the Senior Center. Uh, it's supposed to be a one-hour meeting. It will be at the Senior Center? Yes. So for us or all budgets? It's for all budgets. Okay. And yeah, this is this the, is this is the general meeting yeah. describing the, the plans for the uh, next fiscal year. And I was also asked, um, in light of we meet with the Appropriations Committee in January, they are already scheduling meetings, and we have been asked if we could meet with them January 19th, 2016, at 6.30. We generally have 4.30 meetings, so I thought if it's a meeting night, it should work for us unless the board members are not going to be able to attend. 
Well, right now, for me, the 19th of January sounds fine. <laughs> okay. Me too. <laughs> so we've put on our calendars that there's a, a meet, the meeting with the Appropriation Committee concerning our department budget on the 19th, which Correct. is a Tuesday. Correct. Looking one step ahead, I don't see any indication of when the budgets are going to be due. Uh, it's going to be due prior to that. <laughs> okay, so sometime, um, you think sometimes in December or sometime in January? In in the past, it's been between like the 10th to the 12th okay. of January. So it'll be and the then first they ones. Start, <laughs> right, we and I believe the planning board, they start with the littlest budgets and work their way up. Yeah, okay. So I will confirm our meeting for January 19th at 6.30. I was speaking with Marge today. And again, uh, the December 1st at 6.30, I will be there um, representing the board unless a board member um, also is able to make it. Anything further on, the, on, that, on, on, on that meeting? No. no. And we have an ATB uh, sch scheduling of motions changed to Thursdays. They apparently, they used to have motion Monday and now it's mm -hmm. going to be motion Thursday for a, sh for a temporary period. Yes, I'm kind of thinking that they may be trying to restructure their area also. That's just a guess on my part. Ah, budget's due Tuesday, January 12th. Tuesday, January 12th. Yeah. I was just looking at the, the uh, schedule for the Appropriations Committee. Okay, well, that ends the published agenda for the um, open session. No, except for that we have some planning, six planning board decisions. Mm -hmm. Is there any one of these planning board decisions which has, uh, which requires action by this board or other than the usual responding to building permits and that kind of thing? Just the usual responding for Addition. personal property and um, any building permits. Okay, that clo is there any new business or old business in the open session? I don't have any. No, I'm still looking at the building permits. Okay, then we need to, that I move with, we move into um, executive session to deal with um, a right of first refusal, several chapter land applications, and uh, the contracts with our, um, vet with our vendor. Um, I'll second that motion. We will not be, and we will not be returning to open session. Um, this requires a roll call vote. Um, Ms. Salnier? Yes. Mr. Grudgeon? Yes. Mr. Johnston? Yes. 